All right, let's kick things off and talk about our course project. So here's the situation. You've just been hired by AdventureWorks Cycles. It's a global manufacturing company, and they want you to design and deliver an end-to-end -end business intelligence solution from scratch. Now, this won't be a simple project. The client needs a way to track core business KPIs like sales, revenues, profit, and returns, but also compare regional performance across sales territories, analyze performance and trending at the product level, and forecast future profits, and use the data to identify the company's high-value customers. And as if that's not challenging enough, all you've been given to work with is a folder of raw CSV files that contains information about transactions, returns, products, customers, and territories. But don't worry, we're going to work through this together. I'm here to coach you through each step of the way and break down the project into a few core objectives. So our mission here is to use Power BI Desktop to connect and transform the raw data from those CSV files, use those tables to build a relational data model to blend information together, create new calculated columns and DAX measures, and finally design an interactive report to actually analyze and visualize all of this data. So let me give you a little sneak preview of the project that we're actually gonna be creating from a completely blank canvas. So what you're looking at here is the final deliverable that we're gonna to provide to our AdventureWorks clients. We've got an executive summary here that allows you to break down the data and explore information by categories, by product subcategories. We can see the core business KPIs, the revenue, order volume, and returns for the current month. We'll provide a quick snapshot of the most ordered products and the top revenue driving products and include the ability to filter down the entire page by specific sales regions. Not only that, but we'll include drill through functionality to dive deeper into specific product performance and provide insight like pacing against targets, profit trending over time and forecasts into the future, and even scenario tests to see the impact of pricing adjustments on actual bottom line company profits. Last but not least, we'll provide a view that's all about the AdventureWorks customer so that we can see the top revenue driving customers, breakdowns by demographics like gender, income level, and occupation. We'll see orders by age, top customers and top line metrics, and bookmarks and links to tie it all together. So again, we're gonna be working through the business intelligence workflow together step-by-step step to build this entire project from nothing but a folder of raw CSV files. I hope you're excited. We've got a lot ahead of us. Let's dive in. Last bit of housekeeping before we move on to the next section. Just wanna take a minute to set some expectations for the course. Now, number one, what you see on your screen might not always exactly match what I'm showing on mine. Microsoft products are constantly changing and evolving, and Power BI Desktop is no exception. In fact, there are product updates released every single month, which means that you're likely to see some differences in the layout or the tools or the functionality over time. Second important note, Power BI is currently only compatible with Windows machines. At this point in time, there isn't a Mac version of Power BI Desktop available. Number two, as the title suggests, this course is designed to get you up and running with Power BI Desktop. Now, my goal is to give you a deep foundational understanding of the tool, so I may simplify some concepts and I won't cover some of the more advanced tools. So we won't be writing any custom M scripts. We won't be importing custom R visuals. We're gonna skip over some of the more advanced or nuanced DAX functions. That said, I'm confident that the concepts covered in this course will give you an excellent starting point for those types of more advanced applications. Number three, Power BI and Power Pivot in Excel are built on top of the exact same engine. So if you've taken my Power Query, Power Pivot, and DAX course, these first few sections will feel very, very familiar. We're gonna talk about the same query editing tools, we're gonna to talk about the same data modeling fundamentals, and we'll review a lot of the same DAX syntax and basic functions. That said, there are a number of very important differences and nuances between the two platforms, so I'd highly recommend working through each lecture of this course, even if you've recently taken my Power Query and Power Pivot course. 
And last but not least, we will not be covering Power BI service as part of this course. So we're gonna be focusing on Power BI desktop specifically. Now the online sharing and collaboration features on app.powerbi.com, those will be covered in depth in a completely separate course. With that, let's move on to the next section, Intro to Power BI Desktop.